San Jose, Campbell, Cupertino. Welcome to the second episode of Hell's Half Hour. Admittedly, it'll be hard to top last week's premiere episode featuring Color Me Mad, Megadeth, and the New York Philharmonic in a musical extravaganza, but we're game if you are. Uh, this week's topic is hot. So hot, the networks don't dare touch it. Only here on cable can we walk the razor's edge and discuss this week's rather delicate topic, human excrement. But before we get into that, ever since last week's world premiere, the rumors have been flying fast and furious. The question poised on everybody's lips is, who are these fresh-faced fellows, and where have I seen them before? We'll take this time to clear up any misconceptions and to give you, the viewing public, the undoctored truth. Rudy Delson. His friends call him Pappy, but you can call him Sir. You probably recognize Rudy's lily-white skin as belonging to the hand and foot model for various adult latex novelty mail-order catalogs, which can be found in any of your finer adult bookstores. It's true. Chris Alvarado. Hello. You may remember Chris from his Fox TV movie, Ten Dark Nights of Columbus, where he co-starred with Rick Schroeder and Eric Estrada as troubled inner-city youth with a penchant for raising hell and a passion for Mr. Salty Brand Pretzels. Fabian Alvarado, best known for his world-renowned imitation of Link from TV's Mod Squad, and from his recurring role as Rico, the lovable street lunatic in the now-defunct hit series Knight Rider. And last but not least, me, Dan Shaheen, star of the unsold TV pilot, young J. Edgar Hoover, but I'm best known for my part as an extra in Spike, Lee, Spike Lee's network tele-epic, Shaft, The Next Generation. And with that out of the way, we'll get right into our topic. But here's a warning. Today's conversation may be inappropriate for younger viewers, as it is peppered with such words as caca and poo poo doo, -doo. Uh, Anyone wishing to leave the room right now? <laughs> anybody, uh... Any, anybody with heart uh, trouble, any pregnant women, who, any dirty old men, any, any really crippled trouble. people who can't handle the topic, leave now. Okay. Anybody without the guts to stay on and talk about the subject that the bourgeois society has brainwashed us into thinking that we just can't talk about can leave right now. Shamefully enough, that is me. Uh, well, do, you, do, you have, do you have anything to say about... Uh, my personal feeling is that this is, is inappropriate sort of no-go material it shouldn't have been discussed in the first place, and 
for that reason. We'll see. Well, okay, Ben. All right, with that, we'll say farewell to the girl in the hall with the sellout. Yeah. <laughs> our guest, who well, didn't. Exactly. <laughs> who oh, also, out. we also want to thank Greg from... We, we can't say the name. <laughs> we Rainage <can't>. Loser <laughs> Toilet <laughs> Sucking Company. Sewer King. Well, something like that. Uh, some moron who canceled. He showed up, but... It was it was a little too strong topic yeah, for him as well. It was too, too hot, hot too him. hot, a little too, too hot. hot for him. All right. Well, well let's get in. I, I think we have a couple of clips today. Well, no, we're not going to go into those yet. Well, we're yeah. Go into those a little later. I'd rather, yeah, if we went into some clips later on. We'll go into some clips a little later. But right now, uh, I mean, let's just talk what it, what's been on my mind for uh, for a long time, and and that is. Uh, What's going on with toilet paper these days? I think toilet paper quality is going downhill. What do you? That's true. That's true. And what is with this two ply, three ply stuff? You know, when I was a kid, we had one ply. It wasn't none of this quilted crap that we got today. Excuse my. Excuse yeah, my and what's, there. what's up with the scented stuff? I mean, butt smells like butt. Exactly. Exactly. It's no. meant to smell like something. God put it there that way. You know, stuff comes out of it. No, no. A I, I, was, way. I was talking more clearly along the lines of the uh, uh, sandpaper type. Material Ooh, that, ah, I see. that they uh, are you going back to that old myth mm -hmm. that in Russia all the toilet paper you had to wait in line for eight days and it always turned out to be sandpaper type. I uh, I hadn't heard that. You had oh, heard no. that. Heard so that like was that. the days before the collapse of the Soviet Union. I see. Eight eight days <laughs> for toilet paper that in the like Cold sandpaper. War. The myth, the rumor, they were flying. They were fast and furious. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you brought up toilet paper though, because I do have a subject I want to talk about. Uh, toilet paper. Should the paper roll down in the front? Or should the paper roll down you in know, the back? I, you know, uh, I, have, I, I have a little theory. Marriage. I have a little theory. Being it so cool, I mean, when you got diarrhea, let's face it, it can spray. It can spray for miles. And I figure, you know, it gets on the wall. You don't want to have your toilet paper bumping against the wall, and that usually happens when you roll right over there. Right? I think I think it's kind of... Unless you're okay. at one of these recycled toilet paper maybe, freaks. Maybe I'm a bit uh, a freaky on this subject, but I, I have a, a certain uh, aversion to, to the toilet paper rolling uh, up towards the wall because I figure it's going to pick up on germs. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It could roll over roll the top. Because of the spray mm -hmm. potential, just, correct? But I right? think that's it's there for you. You can pick it up as much as you need. I yeah. think, though, that when it rolls around from behind... It adds to the dispenser quality of a toilet paper roll. When you get something like well, which get, method do you employ at home? I use from behind, of course. Oh, well, I, I just, I think it's kind of. I could see people getting divorced over like which. Well, well now, over the know, top, the back is it's hitting the wall anyway. Now that we're on the uh, the subject of uh, toilet paper and that I touched upon the spray potential, I was wondering, am I the only one who sets up a little padding toilet paper around? Uh, yeah. So, what, so you're the kind of person previous to actually. So you're the kind of person who, at the public toilet, use the thing that says first pull up, pull up, pull down, down, and then yes. punch the thing through. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, my no, friend. No, I punch. I tear it off. I, I don't know what the hell that thing is supposed to be. I, I thought I, just I thought it was supposed to be for like the cushioning effect. It just can't be built. Oh no! It's built. any Terry. You, you know how you, like. uh, you set up some toilet paper like in the water. Just so you won't get the spray. Like, yeah, see, that's what I was just talking. No. Am I the only? I see. see Maybe no, it runs in the that. family the, here, Dan. The big bomb. Wait, there's some kind of clown like flashing something. <laughs> yeah, what? What? Red hair. We call him Pappy. I don't know. I don't know. What was his nickname? Uh, Pappy. Oh, okay. Pappy. His friends call him Pappy. I see. Uh, also, another subject I wanted to bring up. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about. I, I like the spray paper. potential personally. Uh, if, if I if I it's been a big part of my life. But, well. I used are, to are, fear you talking, are you talking spray potential uh, as far as, as like stuff dropping in the water and then, well, and see, then in, my, glass, in my in my house I've thing. had the old toilet clean and chore for years and I'm telling you some of these suckers just spray <laughs> cling. yeah, yeah I'm, I, no, but like, I couldn't really I couldn't really figure out how does extra have a mind of its own I mean it, do scientists really <laughs> know that much about it you know by the same token does, does any inanimate matter have a mind of its own. Well, but I don't think I we was, should be getting into that right now. I was bringing up the, uh, um, the, 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 the just, okay, you're, you're sitting down, and uh, you forget to wipe a, a, a certain area, and then it comes to haunt you maybe uh, two, three hours See, later. You, I, I've <laughs> never when, found this problem. You, I've never, <laughs> when you're I'm sweating. usually efficient I with my uh, toilet, <laughs> toilet wiping there. I, that, I, I'm that happens pretty all efficient the time. myself. I, uh, uh, when I was a child, I used to fear, and sometimes even now I do late at night, I'm sitting on the toilet, I used to fear a hand 
reaching up from the toilet bowl to grab me. You know what I want to know? Or a shark. I, you know what I want to know? I want to know what is up with these earth and ground toilets. So, you know when you go on camping trips? The, the six foot deep Yeah, ones? that's those that things scare me. There's like more things alive in there than, than there aren't. Now, I, I heard some guy fell in there and he was stuck down there for like three days <laughs> oh, without any food or before well, anybody he did tried have food. That's where you were. <laughs> exactly. He, he had uh, organic matter of a sort. And that brings up porta potties. That goes right into outdoor toilets. What happens to porta potties when it goes in that yeah, where thing? Do, what, what does it get like well, beamed somewhere else? Well, that, how big is it? <laughs> no, that's right up there with. Where the, do they uh, take it? Is there a porta potty disposal center? That's right up there with the planes and the uh, buses. Like, like where, planes, does, where does it go on the bus? Planes. The bus, like this blue water comes out. Yeah. Does, it, does it like spray like little mist material? Well, I've heard the, the myth. I don't well, know. You know, I've never. But I've heard the myth that planes actually, when they're high enough up or over the ocean. They will actually dump their love. In I've small, I don't know. And I've heard particles. the thing about the blue mist. The, you know, you I know, just, like I you when, when blue I was blue liquid comes out. I've heard that it actually sometimes clings to the plane and becomes blue ice and falls off its trunk <laughs> and has damaged property. This is actual an actual fact. That's terrible. That's, you know, because because <laughs> I used to in horrible. my mind I used to see RVs in that same question. No, I want to get to mind. that issue. That's horrible. That's well, just, see, yeah, yeah. I, the same issue, issue would go well, through my mind. Personal property. Over and over. The airline should be held responsible. Well, okay. Well, this type let's of thing it, is that it's been happening for years. Boys, boys, boys. We're getting a little passionate. We're getting a little passionate. Chris, uh, I believe you had something to say on the matter. Personal property getting destroyed, the airlines, who's liable, what the hell's going on. Uh, well, the solution, nobody's I taking think, lies. responsibility, feces flying everywhere, <laughs> well, breaking windows, uh, killing children, small that? cats. How bad is uh, that? True uh, population control. It is a fact. It's, it's everywhere. Waste, it's waste disposal and population control all rolled up in one tiny package. I, it's everywhere. It's just nobody ever talks well, about it. Yeah, That's I mean, the whole see, thing. See, the thing is, if you did get hit by a chunk of blue airliner feces ice, would you well, would, how you would get wait, blue? Well, now wait. You would, the water is blue. You would want to be killed because if you're just injured, how embarrassing that is. <laughs> you go to the hospital, cause of injury. <laughs> well. The thing with the ice. <laughs> I've you got know. an icicle of poop <laughs> <laughs> in my arm. Oh, uh, human accident. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I guess that would be pretty bad. You would want to be killed outright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, did we have a. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I was, I was saying that we, if you want to get to the root of the problem, I think the, the, the solution lies in. If you, you, you got to break it down. Now, when I was a, a, a young lad, I, yeah. I, um, I, I would try to develop ways, invent certain toilet facilities which would take care of the grinding and the and what I figured is I'd see my mother you know blending things in the blender or wearing the cool and I figured you know just a fan just a little fan to mix it all up and then spray well there have been if you just threw it into the turbines there I mean, who's going to know there have been recycling movements that I've heard of where they actually want to take human waste. No, I, I don't this know. May be no, this may this be sure like science fiction. This sounds like to me. This might be science fiction, but I've heard movement for it. They want to take it, extract, I, there's no extract important minerals, and reuse them. So the next, you know, centrum pill with beta carotene <laughs> could be extracted directly from your own bile. And I think that's not such a bad thing. From your own bile? Straight from the bile. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Mm. I think if they were to reuse it, that's I'm sure raw sewage takes up a large part of our landfill today. That's a good point. Well, not not not, not the one. If you get a McDonald's there. and they give you the bag and say, "Made out of 100% uh, pure human excrement," or this hamburger contains uh, <laughs> recycled <laughs> minerals and vitamins, yeah, I would be proud. I would be proud. Would they label it? Yeah, he eats. I think we ought to roll a clip now. Get into the topic yeah, what the public is thinking about. What does the public think? No. How do they feel on this touchy subject? We have some questions. Well, there's stories, mostly. Uh, uh, there's myths, uh, type. Can we roll the clip, please? Emerson? Is there a clip there? <laughs> is it rolling? Oh, there's a clip. Sir? How many moments? Excuse me, just a moment. I just need to ask you a question. All right. Uh, what's your name? Do I have to answer that question? Yes, answer your name. Can I give an assumed name? No, answer the name. How about if I just give you initials? Fine. JDK. All right, JD. Uh, listen, could you look at the camera, please? Oh, sorry about that. I'm busy. Yeah, listen. Uh, name of our show is Hell's Half Hour, and uh, our first special is on human excretion. And we just want to ask you a couple questions. Sure. Being with, uh, what's the longest bowel movement you've ever had? I think it was about two and a half hours. No, I don't mean length of time. Uh, I mean length of one piece. Uh, 
13 inches. 13 inches? Yeah. Wow, that's not too bad. Uh, I even what? measured it. Okay, I was now, so impressed with myself. If you were making the attempt, could you, doing some sort of duck walk, write your own first name in cursive? Or even your initials, since you're JDK, with your own feces? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Are you 